Asterisk Gateway Interface or AGI is a powerful tool in Asterisk Style Plan that allows you to interact with external applications in Asterisk. It provides a way to extend the functionality of Asterisk by connecting to external application and services. When a call arrives in Asterisk, it can be routed to an AGI script that is an executable that is written in, uh, in programming languages such as PHP, Perl, Python, etc. The AGI script receives information about the call such as color ID, uh, the number that is dialed, the channel information from Asterisk and it can also talk to the Asterisk and sends command back to the Asterisk. While the Asterisk style plan is indeed very powerful and flexible, but there are some situations that using AGI scripts is beneficial. Last week, one of my Patreon users asked a question about a feature in VC Dial. He wanted to uh, implement a feature, let's name it whitelist, that we just allow incoming calls from the known color IDs. It means that the numbers that we have already inserted in our VC Dial database. VC Dial is using asterisk as well, and this is not a feature that we have in the web panel, or at least I, I couldn't find it. So, in this video, we will get familiar with AGI by writing a practical sample to implement this whitelist feature in the VC Dial. So, let's go through the requirements once more. We are receiving an incoming call and we need to check if this color ID, if the color ID of the color is in our database, then we let it connect to our in-group or queues. But if it is not there, we will hang up the call or maybe we can play a message and then hang up the call. In this scenario, we will hang up the call. AJ script is a very good solution for this requirement. When a caller or when a customer calls our asterisk system, the asterisk give the control to an AGI script and AGI will query our asterisk database. And the table, of course, we are saving the uh, list of the customers and their phone numbers in a, a specific table in VCDL, we call it VCDL underline list. And if the color ID is not in the VCDL list, if we cannot find the customer color ID in our database, then it will hang up the call. And if it is there, then it will send control back to the asterisk. And asterisk will send uh, the control via its dial plan to the next step. Before we learn how to route our calls to an AGI script, let's review our uh, simple AGI scripts to implement whitelist in VC dial. I'm using PHP uh, programming language here, and I'm uh, using a library PHP AGI. It actually creates a lot of functions and makes your life much more easier. So uh, I have included this library. This is my database connection because I need to connect to a database, uh, to the asterisk database, and to a, a specific table, uh, we call it visitor list, to query if this color ID or if this phone number is in my database or not. So I provided the default username and password of VCDL when you are installing here. Of course, uh, it's better to create a, a specific username and password and not using the root password, but this is just a sample, so I use the default ones. And then we created a, an AGI instance, and also we passed the color ID via argument. So when we are calling this script, for example, the name of the script is uh, whitelist.php, we can pass the uh, color ID via argument to this script. Also, of course, there is another way to get the color ID as well using the AGI, but uh, I wanted to show you that it's possible to get the parameters via arguments as well. And then this is my connection. So uh, my connection string to the database, I will connect to the database and if it is not connected for any reason, then it will give me why it's not connecting. So this is more on the connection database. This is my query. So I'm selecting the lead ID from visitor list where phone numbers equals to CLID. So uh, when a call arrives in the asterisk, 
it will pass the color ID as an argument to these AGI scripts. And these AGI scripts will connect to the database and check if this color ID is in my VCDial list or not. Of course, we don't need lead ID, but I have uh, get the lead ID to show in the logs. It's good to have something in the logs that which customer we are blocking or uh, which customer we are allowing. Of course, uh, when we want to block, it's not a customer in our system. Then I uh, get the lead ID from our uh, MySQL result. And if there is a row, it means that if the result of this query had a result, I mean, if this query had a result, it means that, okay, there was a lead and there is a customer with the past color ID. So I will verbose, the AGI verbose will just uh, lock something in the asterisk console. It's like the no OP application in the asterisk. So it will verbose that the color ID is valid with the lead ID and the lead ID is the lead ID of that color ID. This lead ID is something related to the VCDial. Each uh, customer in the VCDial has a lead ID. So I wanted to show that why we have a load and uh, this customer, this color ID is for which customer. And if the result is not valid, it means that we run this query, but there was no result. It means that that color ID is not in our database. What we will do, again, we will AGI verbose means we are logging what's happening and then we are using AGI hang up and we hang up the call and that's it and then we close our database connection of course to fully understand this script you need to know a little about the database and also PHP uh, and in instances for example in the PHP but I mean it's very simple and uh, that you can get the idea on how the AGI scripts works Okay, now that we have our uh, script ready, let's see how we can route the calls to an AGI script. Uh, it's, it has a very simple process. You can use the application name AGI. So when a call came into our uh, context, in the VCDL, the, the default context name is trunk inbound. Uh, you can call the AGI application and then give the path of your uh, script. Here, uh, because I'm explaining about the VCDL, this is the default uh, context for the incoming calls that the uh, VCDL is using. So you need to edit the etc extensions.com file. You will see uh, this dial plan because the VCDL use AGI as well. So it, it is using AGI for actually a lot of uh, parts in the VCDL. What we want to do, we want to change our uh, dial plan to first send to our whitelist.php script. So here, as you can see, extend underline x dot and one means whatever uh, DID that I'm getting, sending to the send it to the AGI scripts in the USR SRC AGI scripts folder, and the name of the script is whitelist.php. This is the uh, name that I choose for this script, and then pass the color ID num. This is a variable in the asterisk that shows we want to send the color ID of the color as an argument to our whitelist.php. This, uh, this is the argument that we use in our uh, PHP and AGI scripts as a color ID, as an underlying CL ID. So we are passing uh, color ID to our whitelist.php. This line will check if it is in database or not. If it is not in database, it will hang up. So it won't go to the next uh, item in the dial plan. But if it is uh, in the database, it will just return. It means that it will go to the next line. And the next line is the default configuration of the VCDL. So it will send to our inbound uh, groups or the DIDs that we have in the VCDL. And the mechanism is the same actually because it's using the asterisk. So if you have any any other system like I don't know free free PBX or Isabel or any other system like that, you can still use the same mechanism to route the script to our AGI to route your calls to an AGI script.
Lastly, I want to mention that I have documented all the steps and the uh, scripts uh, in my GitHub account. So if you go to my GitHub, uh, github.com slash omid mohajrani I will put into the, the link in the description of the video. And then you select the VCDL repo. In the readme or even in the wiki, you can select the article using AGI to implement whitelist phones. And uh, on how to do it, you will find the steps on how to actually change the uh, extensions.com file and roll to our AGI scripts. Uh, how even I explained, okay, how to create the folder. And these are the actual uh, scripts that you need. So you can use the wget command to download the scripts directly from my GitHub account on your VC dial box. And then you need to uh, reload your dial plan so that uh, it works and then uh, the new configuration applies. Uh, I just wanted to mention that this method uh, working perfectly, but you need to have a, a good database design because if you have a large number of uh, numbers like 1 million, 1 million, 2 million, and then you want to query uh, a color ID from this database and the database is not designed properly or it's not fast enough to respond, then it will add a delay uh, to your system. So of course, if you have a, a large system like that, it's better to uh, have a separate database and implement in a distributed mode. But I just wanted you to know about uh, these situations. Your database response should be uh, fast, especially when you have uh, lots of data. That's it. That's the implementation of AGI and a uh, practical example from AGI. I hope it helps to understand uh, it helps you to understand how the AGI works and with the samples I think if you have not uh, written an AGI script you are able to uh, start writing them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.